It should be streaming. Just give me a second while I fix the thumbnail. Let's see if that does the trick. I got a whiteboard here, so I should be a little bit less cave dark on this side of my face. Let's uh, let's share the link through to some people on the internet. I'm just gonna. Sh I always link to YouTube Gaming, but like I think I can just straight up link to a. Uh, the regular YouTube but yeah so I got a whiteboard so hopefully that'll like reflect a little bit of the light it's still a little bit dramatic I am in market for blinds right now and after after I get some blinds then I think um, the lighting will be a lot less dramatic hey there everybody what's up how are you guys all doing you know it still says there's only one people watching which I think is wild because there's like at least you know quite a few people commenting. Hey there everybody, what's up? Hey Wilson, hey CN Gaming, Jonathan Lau, all, all the folks in, in the area. All right, cool, cool, cool. So, got that set up. Oh, hey Franco, what's up? Okay, cool. So, uh, I was just saying to my people in the Discord, I was saying to my people in the Discord, that I totally forgot uh, to like set everything up. Like I was just like scrolling through Twitter instead of actually doing useful stuff. Okay, here's a useful thing I could do. Share a link to my account page on Lyodin. Lyodin, there's a million tiny things I would fix about you. Hey there, Pepperminter, how are you guys doing? Yep, okay, so now the number is rightfully up to 13. I need to add a link to my Lydon page in the in the doobly do below. Shout out to PBS Idea Channel, rest in peace. Hello there, twenty one fetus Joshua Duns. How how you doing? Oh, Bethy says that she'll be a mod. The only thing is, let's see, is there is there a quick way to promote someone to mod in the live chat setup? No. Okay. All right. Okay. So what I'm <laughs> what I'm gonna do real quick is find a way to link to my account. Oh, I can just do it for my alpha. I'll just give a link to my, a link to my alpha. Follow along on Lydon. Uh, Griffin Bird said, did you just make a blog? Brothers reference, I approve. I don't know who actually coined I know that Mike Rugnetta on the Idea Channel, PBS Idea Channel, uh, referred to it as Doobly Doo for a while. I think Matt Pat also used to refer to it as the Doobly Doo. The, the video description is what I'm referring to. Lion Alpha. I guess Alpha Lion is actually the right way to do that. Um. So yeah, if you guys want to have your critter shown off, did I lose that? I hope I didn't lose that tab. Okay, it's right there. We've got some people entering it. I'm gonna move the line back up. Oh, I know what I need to do. No, like I've been like playing around with the idea of bringing in like several people to actually help uh, do this live stream because like there's a lot of moving pieces. But yeah. <laughs> okay. So also um, in the chat we've got the link to the spreadsheet to show off your critters, and then we also have the Discord. So if you wanna chat with me between live streams. That's definitely the place to do it. Oh, hey! Pepperminteer says, I learned a couple days ago that I can visit Lions and user pages without an account. Now I can check out a bunch of Lions despite not being able to sign up. I definitely need to sign out and do an SEO overview of Lydon, like because I'm always giving Feedback about Lydon's uh, technical page structure. I definitely need to like sign out and see how much is accessible, you know, for search engine ranking stuff. Hey there, Silo. How are you doing? Hello there, Leon Le Leo Leonel Figura Figura. Sorry, 
I'm not really strong in phonetics in the first place. <laughs> um, your bike is getting rained on, but you guessed that can wait. I'm sorry to hear that. I don't have a bicycle in this place, so it does not get rained on. I really do want to get a bicycle, though. So today we are going to be drinking, uh, not sponsored, just happy to share, uh, some sparkling cider. Not alcoholic, just regular sparkling cider. The, um, the review that I've had of it from my partner is that it tastes very earthy. So I hope that it's an enjoyable kind of earthy. <laughs> Lionel says, I think that's the best somebody has ever pronounced my name. Thank you. You're welcome. So, Franco with the assist, it's pronounced Figueroa. Okay, thank you. Much appreciated. Don't you think, don't you guys think that Franco's name sounds like a superhero? This is what I always say. I say Franco Fernando just sounds like a superhero name. It's the best name. Hey there, Bethy. How are you doing? Okay, so what am I here for? Territory stuff. So I don't know if you guys saw the Leiden update that was made, but uh, the way it works is that now you can add additional marking slots to your alpha. Hey yo! All the reasons to buy additional slots, or buy additional gold beetles. Hey there, unusual cat. I really like that username. Um, I don't know if you guys could see my shirt, but it says I love kitties. Then it has like a bunch of pictures of kitties on it. So how do I feel about the marking update 21 wants to know? I'm just shortening it to 21 because you've got a lot of names going on there. And um, to tell you the truth, I'm already at a place where I don't really know what to do with my alpha because like I feel like I kind of always go a little overboard with the markings and that it's not as executed as strongly as it could be. So I'm a little intimidated. Like I like it. I like it a lot that you could have up to 20 markings now. I don't really like that it's a lion by lion type of thing. But it is what it is. CN says, I don't know if I should start playing Lydon. I am a huge proponent of Lydon. Everybody here knows this. I think it's the best designed game on the market from like a complete storytelling but interplaying features uh, perspective. I definitely need to get blinds. Do you guys see this? Do you guys see this lighting situation? Um... 21 says, I personally don't like it because the Cubs won't have their markings revealed in the slots. For me, like, it always takes me a really long time to, like, <laughs> figure out what I'm doing with Cubs anyways, so they usually survive into adulthood. Unusual Cat says, who do you support in the event? To tell you the truth, I don't really read the stuff. I just click a lot of buttons. Um, so I don't, I don't actually... I don't actually know who I was supporting. I was just trying to get through it really fast. Let's see. If I click this, it'll tell me something, right? Ooh, I've defeated 9 out of 5 lions. I guess this angry looking guy? Is this Epidemac? Epidemac? I know the name on site, but I'm not personally familiar with Epidemac. Will this help? I don't know if you guys can hear this in the background, but my air conditioning just keeps going off and off. Okay, so I'm going to support Epimedac. Um, Rocky says, this stream is actually earlier than the last one, 2 a.m. instead of 3 a.m. I've always done it at... I'm so sorry that we're like exactly like 12 hours off. That is such a bummer. Um, I always stream at 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. However, my time ch changes... Um, you know, daylight savings time. Okay. No, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna stick with Apodemac, right? Is he the good guy? Wilson says, do you watch Star vs. the Forces of Evil? I really wanted to, right? So I watched Steven Universe. Um, I think I'm a little bit behind on Steven Universe. And when Star vs. the Forces of Evil came out, like, I am a huge Sailor Moon fan. Like, I love Sailor Moon. And, um, I thought, oh my god, this is like the natural western adaption, you know, meeting point where we get like something between Steven Universe and between Sailor Moon, 
and um, I don't know, I thought it was really cute looking and I would very much like to watch it. One of my good friends from home does a star cosplay and I think it's super cute. Um, so Emerald says, I thought it was pronounced Apid Mac. It could be, like I said, phonetics are not my strong suit. Okay, time to watch me not woo a lioness. Um, and keep in mind that you guys are delayed by a few minutes, so if you give me recommendations, it's, like, not gonna go through. So, okay, so I'm gonna start with a manly roar, but that just made her angry. <laughs> Do I need to, like, yeah, that didn't work. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Like, I need, like, a guide written out in front of me on, like, how to do this. Like, yesterday I claimed, like, a whole bunch, like, on first try. And, um, whatever. I don't care. Because we unlocked the Death Stone, the Death Rock. Is everybody from the Discord here? Okay, cool. I think it worked. Okay, neat. Um... Shout out to Bethy, she commented earlier. Are you, are you feeling better? Our good friend, our loyal, loyal amigo, Bethy, is still feeling ill, but it's a better, a small improvement. Me, 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 me. Okay, so Unusual Cat says, it's best to snarl, growl, and then bite neck for the snarky lionesses, just for future reference. Thank you, I'll try to keep that in mind. We'll see if it sticks. Sticks up there, we'll see. We'll see. Apollo Justice, I'm uh, graced by your presence. Um, I love Ace Attorney. I think it is such a fun game. Have y'all played Ace Attorney? Ace Attorney, the objection is like my favorite thing. All right, so I have to trap these whispers. Oh, sweet, that was plus three. Nice. Okay, time to open this. <laughs> it's been long enough. Oh no. It's buffering. I'm an adult. All right, let's try to diagnose what the problem here is and why it's buffering. Oh, how bad is the lag? Unfortunately, so, like, the big problem here, as as it's been pointed out to me before, is that I need to connect to uh, the router with an Ethernet cord. <laughs> Whoops. Today, I got a whiteboard, okay, and for me, like, there's, like, a level of, like, things I need to work through. And, um, like, at the top of my list right now, which... It just fell. You know what? It does bring a noticeable difference. Okay. All right. I think I might need something stronger than Tiki Tac. You know what? It does make a difference. It does make a noticeable difference. Okay. That's actually kind of reassuring. <laughs> Well, okay. So, uh, do I play Pokemon Sun and Moon? And if I do, am I ready for Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon? So, I do play Pokemon. I'm a Pokemon enthusiast. The last... I bought, like, Pokemon Black and then, um... Uh, what is it? Alpha Sapphire? I haven't played through yet. So, like... Alpha Sapphire was, like, my generation, like, I have, like, a Team Magma cosplay, um, it's, like, the only thing of mine that, that remains in my parents' house, um, that I will wear, uh, but yeah. 21 says, I should sleep, but I don't want to go at the same time, my nephew is probably gonna wake up again. Oh, yikes, that's very unfortunate, uh, that's, that sucks, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, CN says, I know it's not fitting, but I would like to meet you in real life. You seem like a really nice person. Thank you. I really appreciate that. I would like to go on tour, as every person would like to do, says every person who's ever lived. Um, but I don't, like, so this, uh, in August, I'm going on a very long trip across the Baltic. I wish... 
I wish it was possible to arrange such things easier. Like, I wish it was easier to do meetups, but I don't, like, have enough subscribers, and, like, there's a million things in between. Okay, let's do some event stuff. Oh my gosh, that is some good cider. That is so good. It is so good. That is ridiculously good. Lionel says, will there be a 5K subscriber special? I don't know how often you do those. So I'm still working on the 4,000 subscriber special. <laughs> oh, don't look at me. Um, <laughs> um, I'm still working on it. And this has just been going, like, way too fast for me. Um, no, it's been going the right amount of fast for a person to deal with. Yes, there will be a 5,000 subscriber special. Um, I just don't know what it will be yet. Oh, CN says, I live in Germany, so it's quite difficult to me to come anyways. Well, you know, Germany isn't outside of the realm of possibilities of places I would go. I have a close friend who lives in Germany. And, like, Germany is, like, totally a place that people go. Hold on. I have to diffuse some light right now. Did that diffuse it, like, a little bit? Hold on. <laughs> oh, I know what I'll do. I'll angle it in a different direction. There we go. That should diffuse that a little bit. Because what was happening is like, this isn't solely the light from the from the window. Uh, this is the light from the window onto the floor. Apollo says, I'm in good old New York City. So am I, hon. Like, I'm in Brooklyn. I was thinking about doing a New Jersey meetup because we have like a lot of amigos, you know, on that side of the river. So, <laughs> on that side of those two rivers. So it could happen. Isis from Turkey, what's up? Rocky's from China, what's up? Wilson's in California and in and out is the best. So like the thing is, um, so I'm gonna be a little cross country this winter. I'm going to be in, I need to make a video about this, about where I'm gonna be appearing. I know, right? So fancy. I'm going to be appearing at, um, I'm going to be available at PodCon in Seattle in January. No, in December. In December. And I'm going to be in San Antonio for PAX South in January. So I, I need to, like, announce that in a video so, like, people know because I'm really bad at doing that stuff. Um, but, and then again at Anime St. Louis this, um... Next year, like a year from May, I will be there. Okay, all right, let's do some event stuff. So lots of people from New York. But yeah, so like I'm trying to get more around to like different parts of the country to like see people and um, talk about Neopets really because like I'm trying to like get more people into like making videos about Neopets and like being aware that it's still around. Um, so like when I talk it, like the talk I gave at the convention was about how like, hey, we're out here, like let's all have a good time, like let's band together. Um, Apollo Justice says, the last time I went to a con was New York City Comic Con in 2011. So I really wanted to do Anime New York. This would be its first year and I wanted to in November, but I'm actually, <laughs> that same weekend is like my college roommate's wedding in Missouri. So, like, I can't do it, unfortunately. Fish is from the Bahamas. Hi. How is it? I'm jealous. OMG. Pepperminter says, uh, apparently I need to download Google Sheets in order to edit the sheet on mobile. Missing so much stream for this. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry to hear that. Uh, I was thinking about making it like a form that you just fill out, but then people wouldn't be able to edit it after they fill it out. So, uh, Wilson says, I don't get the new chicken smoothie event. I'll check it out after I send some little ladies to hunt. Always hunted for that booty. Okay, all right, let's do this. Who here is gonna go see the emoji movie? <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm so jokes right now. I'm so many jokes. Oh my gosh, have you guys seen that um, screenshot of the Outback Steakhouse locations and like the stars and people say like, what are they planning? <laughs> That's my favorite thing on the entire internet. Like, let's see if I can bring it up. It's my favorite thing. There's nothing on the, on the planet that compares. Um, 21 says chicken smoothie is confusing in general. Sebastian says, hey Julie, do you recommend Leiden or Flight Rising? Porque no los dos. Um, I am... Um, it really depends on how much time you have. Uh, because... They're different games. They're really different games. I think that Lyodin is a better put together game, but Flight Rising is like prettier. Um, like it's got like the bells and whistles that you expect of a game to be de that was developed in like you know 2015. Um, but Lyodin is like a lot more nuts and bolts, like practical, interworking features. Okay, all right. I'm about to share this thing with y'all. Prepare yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so many LOLs. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, so a lot of people have seen it or don't see it. Um, so if you don't have a lot of time, then I would recommend Flight Rising. However, Flight Rising registration is open in limited windows only once a month. So you have to keep your eyes peeled for it. Lie it in is a little bit more intimidating and a little bit more of a time commitment. So those are my, that's my official input on those games set to this image. Just soak it in, my friends. One day you will understand. Ooh, so um, 21 says, did you sign up for Evosaur? So I'm signed up to get like updates about Evosaur. Is it like past the finish line? I'm unfamiliar with this. I've submitted my email, um, but testing has not yet begun. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a nerd. Okay, I should probably hop over to Chicken Smoothie for a minute, though. I'm really excited for Evasaur. Evasaur is from the creators of Leiden, I'm pretty sure. Um, and I think it's pretty cool. Ooh, ooh. Do I, what, what's going on here? What in the world? <laughs> uh, I feel like you, you tried to warn me. <laughs> There's a treasure hunt. Uh, click back every day to see what's new. Uh, whoops. Sorry, I did not do anything. Wow. All right, I got some stamps. There's a lot going on here. <laughs> oh my god, Leonel says, it's a setup for the barbecue steakhouse cinematic universe. I love it. Uh, Pepper says, just click all the buttons and you'll get free stuff. I mean, that sounds plausible. <laughs> Uh, 21 says, when testing for Evasaur begins, I believe you get an alpha code. Yeah, I imagine it'll be just like, um, what is it called? <sighs> that game that we all really like, Dapper Volk. Okay, alright. You know what I'm excited for? Leo Pets. So, I haven't covered this. You don't know about it if, like, you haven't, like, been following along with the... You have no reason. You have no reason to follow along with this unless you're like in the Discord or whatever. But Leo Pets is opening registration on August 1st. Um, so, okay, all right, that gets a feature. That's a thing we need to talk about, I think. <laughs> I think you guys will appreciate this bit of conversation that's about to happen. Um, Leo Pets has, has registration. What? And so Lionel says, I thought Leo was dead. 
Same. Same. <laughs> Everyone thought Leo Pets was dead. This is wild. Um, so it'll be submitting an application. All of the accounts have been purged. I might, like, if I've got, like, my eager pants on, I might make a video about this today to upload tomorrow. Um, but what? This is, like, the most left field update. This would be, like, if Clan Heart, like, launched the full website tomorrow. That's, like, the level of surprised I was by this. I was just like, what in the world? Like, um, so, like, they disowned their Facebook page, and they have the new Twitter, and applications are open on the 1st. So, I'm going to apply. However, I really don't think that they're going to, like, let me in. Um, I don't, I don't know. I'll be tweeting about it, so if you, like, read the tweets, I mean. <laughs> oh, geez, what? What's going on here? What is this? What's happening here? But yeah, oh, so Pepper says, I'd be more excited about Clanheart, to be honest. Yeah, same. Unusual Cat says, yeah, I can't wait for Clanheart. I don't recommend you hold your breath because it hasn't updated in over a year. Um, but yeah, same. Oh, gosh. Raise your hand if you want to buy the Clanheart intellectual property to publish it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. 21 says, uh, the only thing I've actually stuck to was Lydon. I forgot about Fervilla. Yeah, the thing about Fervilla is that I feel like it's, um, I just feel like I'm not the right demographic to make Fervilla happen for myself. You know, like, I've said it in the videos, but, like, when I was 13, I was madly in love with that kind of game concept, and it would have been perfect for me. Do I have any pearls? I have zero pearls. I cannot play this game. Chicken smoothie rolling out a game. <laughs> Remember that time the chicken smoothie wasn't like this and then all of a sudden it was like this? Man. Uh, Shane says, I'm going to sound awful because I've just started following and just started playing. You don't sound awful. It's great to ask questions. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it, Shane. But what's the difference between Leopets and Neopets? Neopets is the official game. Leopets is a fan-made and ran version of Neopets with fan-made additions. Neopets is the real thing. Leopets is the side thing. And that's... That's what the difference is. Wilson says, girl, you need to read those messages and chicken smoothie. I don't have to do anything I don't want to do. And answering, <laughs> reading messages and answering messages is so hard. I get so many. Ugh. But yes, you're right. Uh, Time Lord Snowy says Clan Heart looked fun, but when I found signups were closed, so sad. So it was in like alpha or whatever, pre alpha technically, and like fun, like yeah, like it had some really good things going for it. Um, I really like Clan Heart in the version that we had access to and like what it could be, you know? Um, so yeah, I feel you. I really, I feel you, man. I get it. Oh geez, I'm just gonna have to like go through this later. That's a lot. I need to get back on track with Lyad and uh Hey New says, hey Julie, this is the first live stream I've been able to catch live. Hello, hello. Uh, Griffin brings up the M game. So I'm about to pronounce it two different ways. And I'm gonna need you guys to give me like a little bit of tough love slash be gentle about how it's pronounced. Is it Mara Pets or Mara Pets? 
because my phonetics are so bad. And so the way that I've always pronounced it in my head is Mara Pets, but it could be Mara Pets. And I have no idea which one it is. So, which one is it? Um, because I, I have reason to believe I have an account on Maripet, but I could be wrong. And I do have to set up an account, uh, like this month. Mara Pets. <laughs> Mr. Lord Waffle says, it's whatever you want it to be, pets. Same. I feel the same way. But then, like, I get lots of comments on my stuff telling me that I pronounce everything wrong, which I do. I do. I do pronounce everything wrong. Um, so Domo says, I've always called it Mara Pets. And Pepperminter says, I've called it Maera Pets? I'm sorry, I don't know how to read that. So anyways, like, I, I also don't really, like, I don't, do, I don't dote over pronunciation. However, my comments or my, like, the, you know, the people watching the videos really care about how I pronounce things. So I try to, like, figure out the right way to pronounce things. A new friend request, lines that might leave. Who did I go with for the event on Leiden? A, a Piedmac? Is that how we... Epidemic? <laughs> However it's pronounced. <laughs> that guy. This guy. A Piedmac? Star, but okay. All right, let's let's uh, check out what I've got going on in here. Ooh, twenty one says my friend has been on Leiden for a month and she just had a Leopon born. Congratulations! That is such a big deal. It's insane. Oh my god, that is so cool. Leopons are like the coolest. Remember, like, when I was like, I don't care about Leopons, and then, like, all of a sudden I had a bunch, so I was like, they're the best. I remember. Pepperidge Farm remembers. Hey, look, P Pierre is older now. I have no idea what I'm doing with my alpha situation. <laughs> Time Lord says, for me, they are blue lion, red lion, yellow lion. And Pepperman says, it's Pokemon Go lions. <laughs> Um, so Bleach and a bunch of words says, how do you get Leiden? Currently I try to get in. I've waited about two days for them to give me my activation code. I know most of you might not answer, but I just want to check. Check your spam folder. Um, I know that for me, when I set up like my secondary account to make like a video, um, they, it went straight to my spam slash trash. So I had to like actively hunt it down um and also the sign up process is ridiculously not good <laughs> sorry every like lied in admins but it's not good coconut says me always sitting here with 10 pet set tabs open screaming because i don't know what to take care of first same. Oh my god. So the way that I do it is a long-term time-sensitive actions, short-term sensitive actions, non-time sensitive actions, dailies. Which are like, the lowest last two ones are pretty much the same. Mm. Oh, is it time to lock the thing yet? No, 45 is when I lock the thing. I haven't done my Neopets dailies in, like, weeks. Uh, okay, all right. Taking care of the Leopons. Awesome. Teapot says, yes, I have a Mr. Stream. I'm here. We're all here. Excellent. 10 out of 10. Um, let's go ahead and play with all of our guys. Awesome. Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. What else do I have to do today? Neopets.com. Yeah, I definitely, sh like the, 
feel like the only thing about making a video about Leo pets is that it's going to be like two minutes of content where like I talk about Leo pets. Also, there's no way in God's green earth that they're going to give me an account. Like, it's just like not going to happen. I really want it to happen. Oh, God, I care about these games so much. Like, I want a Leo pets account so bad. Like, so bad. Like, I'm going to apply and see what happens. Domo says, oh, by the way, today is my birthday, 21st. Hey, yo, if you're in America, that's like an extra wild time if you're an American. And I didn't plan anything special, but being able to catch your stream is an absolute treat. Your streets are the bomb. Thank you so much. Happy birthday. Um, I turned 21 when I was abroad. And got lit. Um, I hope that it's a great birthday for you. Stay hydrated. Stay hydrated every day, people, but particularly on your birthday. Um, Jillian says, how do you get a Leo Pets account? So they have applications open every first day of the month, typically when they're accepting applications. So the 1st of August will be the first time that registration's been open in like many moons. 21 says, Lion and Mods, keep renaming my lions. Well, are you naming your lions appropriate things? Time Lord says, what do you think of the expansion update? Seeing varying opinions, so curious. I'm a little overwhelmed in all the marking possibilities because I already don't put them to great use. But I think it's great. I think it's wonderful. I love it. I think it's going to be nothing but a good time. Um, there was a comment that... It's a bummer that it's a bummer that you can't see um, if cubs have hidden markings. And I can sympathize with that. Man. Okay, cool. What time is it? Eight minutes left to fill out the spreadsheet. I'm taking care of all my guys, all my little lion guys. I have to do my daily still. Okay, let's do that. Crossroads. Ryoko says, I hoped a friend of mine get a spare inventory crate yesterday on the Flight Rising holiday Jaxar spare inventory thing. Leonel says, how come nobody is smashing that like button? Come on, y'all. I'm out here for the likes. No, I... no need. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, Sebastian says, what's your light in referral code? I think it's 35892. When can you get inventory crates, by the way? Right? Are we talking about the Jaxar inventory thing? Because if so, you could only doing that during festivals. And how do you get mutations in Leiden? Are they random? I just started playing and I'm confused. I did make a video about it, so I would refer to that version of me, not the current version of me, because that video is pretty old and I don't know, I don't remember what I learned. But I think it's something like mutations um, more likely to occur in lionesses that have low fertility, their offspring, um, and it's random, I think. Um, 21 says, some mutations you need a parent with the mutation like primal. Yes, that's true. Verified. <laughs> I wish there was like more information, just like disseminated, like widespread about the light and uh, the way it's supposed to work. Because just relying on the user base to curate and maintain their own guides isn't, you know, the best way to archive and update information. Uh, Bleach says, by the way, do you know any games like this? Like Leiden or like what? 
Uh, Time Lord said, I'm currently trying to get a primal for my next king for story reasons. So far, no luck. I did find someone who offered me free studies to their king, so it's not bad at least. So the only way to get a primal offspring is with a primal parent. Um, so breed to that. You have to like breed a primal with you know, another line, your best bet would be with another primal. Um, or just get the primal marking applic- the primal mutation applicator, because those exist. Um, and I would say that's a good way to do it. Awesome says, how do you edit the Google Doc? If you open the Google Doc, uh, you should be able to um, just click into a cell and then input it. Um, and so Bleach says, what are other games like Lyodin? It really depends um, on which, uh, which, what, what part of Lyodin you want it to be like. Like, I recommend Flight Rising, Neopets, but I don't know which part of it is the part that you like. Uh, Lyacon says, do you have a spreadsheet for game suggestions? I do not. I just take referrals, and if the game sounds interesting, then I go after it. If not, then I put it in, like, the maybe category. <laughs> um, so, like, either comment it or put it in the Discord chat or, like, whatever. Bay says, Julie, you're absolutely amazing. Thank you. I had an account, but due to lack of interest, I quit and forgot my information. Therefore, I have to wait. Your Flight Rising videos have kept me going. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm glad that you like um, my Flight Rising videos. Oh, so Awesome says, I have opened it, but it says to get the app. When I have the app, open the app, and the doc's not there. Okay, so that's on mobile. Um... Uh, so, depending on what kind of phone you have, I know on Android it would probably ask me if I want to open the link using, using Google Sheets, and I would say yes to that, but I don't know about, um, other kinds of phones, how that would go. I'm sorry. Sebastian says, there's a guide on starting Lyodin, and I assume there's, like, a guide somewhere. Um, or like a basic tutorial. It's been a long time since I set up my account, um, but um, there are, are guides in the forums about how to set up your Lydon account and play through it. Time Lord says, I've heard of cereal soup. Is it any good? Been meaning to try it, but keep forgetting I'm not familiar with cereal soup. So, Bleach is playing cereal soup. What's it about? Let us know about it. I think I tried Wolf Play and I wasn't into it. But, yeah. <sighs> okay. Well, let's get through these slot machines. I'm sorry. I've been really sick for like the last two weeks, fighting off an infection. And I'm just like very fatigued. So if I'm yawning, it's not because you guys are boring me. It's because my body is like, we're doing so much work. And it's true, body. We are doing a lot of work. Okay. So I am going to lock the spreadsheet in a minute. So if you haven't had a chance to fill it out yet, go for it. 21 says, I want to see someone make a chicken smoothie. I'm pretty sure that was a thing on a Will It Blend a while ago. You know? There are other games out there that I'm like waiting on, but it's like so hard to keep to keep tabs on everything under development, you know? I mean, I guess it's my job, but it's like also my hobby, not my job. So it's just it's a lot to keep up with, you know? Game notifications. Friend requests. Okay, let's make sure everything is fed. It looks like somebody is filling out the sheet right now. So I'll let Awesome Teapot finish it up. 
and then I will lock the sheet. It looks like we've got a lot of flight rising this time and one Neopets and one for Villa. Not surprised. Flight rising is super popular. It's a super good time. Love that game. It's so good. So good. I, just, oh, I always have to keep myself from just spending all day on flight rising. Twenty one says three hundred and twenty seven game notifications and I thought twenty four was an insane amount. Well the thing is I don't clean them out very often. They just rack up so quickly. <laughs> like I need like I need someone to help. Time Lord says you have a Discord. Is that what the link in the description is for anyways? Yes, I do have a Discord. You are welcome to join it. Um, I'm in there, like, I don't know, like, I would say, like, once a day chatting. But also there's just, like, everybody that's in this great comment section is also there. And, like, we have, like, great conversations about games. We talk about Leo pets. We talk about everything. It's a good time. I, I really enjoy it. Plus, when I'm working on a video or whatever, um, you know, I talk about it get input about things and whatever. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, all right. I am, oh, I have to lock this. Okay, what I'll do is I'm gonna go ahead and get started um, pulling up these pages and then I'm gonna have to lock the spreadsheet very soon here. I just don't want things to get out of control. Oh my gosh. Anybody here watch Game of Thrones? Because I am all about that game. Oh shoot, I didn't mean to make this my active yet. I'm not ready to go over it. Oh, my active tab. Not like my active pet or something. I'm just pulling things up now so that they're ready. Okay, all right. Sorry, Lady Moonlight Elf. I think that you're done filling this out. I have to protect this sheet. I have to. I have to. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do it before that you were done filling it out, but I have to do this. New episode of Game of Thrones tonight and Rick and Morty. There's a new Rick and Morty tonight. Holy heck, did you see, did you see that what's his name got Szechuan sauce delivered to him? The hecky? The actual hecky. Okay, I'm sorry. I've got these dragons pulled up and I'm totally not looking at them because I'm just like trying to get everything in order. All right, so that is that dragon. Eh? Oh, I see what happened here. I see what I did. Okay, all right. So I'm going to start going through these now. Julie? Julie, what are you doing? Okay, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm being a little extra right now. I'm a problem and a half for myself. Okay. Okay. Sorry, Lady Moonlight Elf. I'm sorry. Like, I didn't want to cut you off. I, like, I, like, let you, let you edit a good deal uh, past the time, and I really didn't want to cut you off. But Paige says, yes, uh, Justin, Roiling got some with a special Rick and Morty label on it. It's hilarious, and I love it. It's so good. Okay. All right, so we're starting off today with a ask, I ask, I ask our good friend from CN Gaming LP. And oh, okay, I'll keep I'll keep CN Gaming in mind to be a mod in the live stream. If you guys um are interested in helping out, last live stream we had an issue where there was there were some rude statements made. 
and I was like trying to like engage with the live stream and I didn't really know how to handle it. So I am looking for people to help out moderate um, sometimes. And if you can only do it like once and you want to see like if it's a good fit for you, then like, yes, I would love that. It's just that um, I'm trying to do a lot of things at once and any help is really appreciated. Like, I would love to have like a friend even come here and help me like make sure that all my layers on my live stream footage are being pushed out properly or like my thumbnails or whatever so um if you guys are interested in that totally comment in the discord and that's something we could talk about so this is i ask who has been around for two months a ridgeback female eldritch giraffe smoke eye spots and purple crackle so a very purpley looking buddy uh this is a lady from the ice flight with a green familiar and the apparel is really cool these are those um those big ones the shadow scales all around it looks very tough so great i love the way that the purple works on this especially because the primary is the eldritch giraffe which is like a dark gray and a lighter gray and it looks really good with the purple. Uh, it's a very cool looking dragon. And of course those ice eyes just really pop against the rest of the dragon. And let's just peep for a second. A little bit of peeping in the dragon lair. And uh, see what we can do. See what else is going on here. We have a Ryu. A Leviathan. Ooh, have I peeped in here before? I totally have because I love Autocar. Autocar is beautiful. Itami. Yes, yes. Serious vibes from this dragon lair. Super beautiful. I'm a big fan. And then who else do we have here? I'm just going to peep real quick at Fafnir because that's a cute name and I like it. Um, personality. I'm really competitive. Very beautiful. Pearl, rose, pearl, which are great colors. I love pearl. One of my newest colors that I'm a huge fan of. So this is pearl, cherub, rose, pear, green, and pearl underbelly. Oh, so beautiful. Pearl underbelly, 10 out of 10. Huge fan of this. Thank you very much for sharing your lair with us. All right, all right. All right, all right. Um. Interesting thing, do people ever have any trouble telling the difference between Matthew McConaughey and that Bradley Cooper? <laughs> In my head, I, like, I know the difference between them, but like sometimes I'm like, was it that guy or the other guy? Um, so thank you very much for sharing your account with us. Uh, your dragons are beautiful. All right, so moving on now to coconuts. Beautiful maze. And this is a codal male. You guys know I'm a sucker for codal males, especially pastel toned codal males. And this is rose iridescent, white shimmer, maize underbelly. And the familiar is the uh, light goblin sunbeam soldier. No, the goblins are totally different, Julie. Sorry about that. This is a really beautiful dragon. I love the use of black and yellow together. We have the Philosopher's Veil, the Illuminated Crown, and the Luminous Leg Guards. So these are the light apparels. This is like a light ambassador almost. Very, very beautiful dragon. And also wearing the black jewelry. Nice, works together very well. This is a level seven Kotal male who is two years old. Beautiful. I love I love those colors. Those are very classy tones. Rose, white, nice. So we're gonna look real quick. We're gonna peep at the rest. I see there's a lot of chatter about niche going on uh, in the in the description. All right. Ooh, ooh. There seems to be a lot of love of the yellow tones in here, which is cool. Um, yellow is a great color on dragons. Right next to Maze, we have Sylvith. This is a pre oh, girl. All right, so we're gonna hop over to this real quick. I know I always do this, but I love these light green tones. Oh, sea foam runes, that kills me. Doesn't that like just like get at you? Because it's white iridescent, white shimmer, sea foam runes. Oh, that is, ooh. 
It's so good. It is just so good. I think it's beautiful. So this is Rekin and a Rekin, Rekin, and um, it's a nature dragon, wild fall male, four months old, wearing some green, wearing some nature, and of course with a nature uh, greenskeeper gathering timber tender. And this is a really beautiful dragon. Very cool looking. Oh, runes, man. Runes is so cool. <laughs> okay, all right. And then we're just going to check in real quick. So this account that Coconut is so graciously sharing with us, 2015, so it's a few years old. And we have some really beautiful dragons in here. Thank you very much for sharing. Uh, I'm a fan of your aesthetic. I like what you've got going on. You've got a lot of dragons that, like, I would totally have. Oh, and you had trouble deciding on a dragon. I can see that because they're all pretty cool. Okay, so now we're jumping over to the neopets.com. Let's see if it believes that I'm not a robot. Always a hard one to get the pass on. Uh, so this is Blue Piccolo, the Blue Loop. What? <laughs> and uh, the note is that you love drawing. Ooh, so this loop is 3,800 days old. What? That's insane. Okay, all right, that's really cool. I love that. And um, a little bit trained up, a little bit trained up. Very cool, a little cutie, a little cutie pie. And then we're going to head over to the account. Awesome. Teapot says, any more information on Dapper Volk? I will let you know as soon as I get any information about that. Um, you can totally keep up with the Dapper Volk Discord. They have it publicly located. Um, and the developer quiz streams on a very regular basis. So this account is three weeks old. But you've got some really cute babies in here. Like Zoe, who looks like it's either a sketch or a snow zabara. Zafira. Zafira. <laughs> Apollo says that Loop is almost as old as my little brother. Oh, Capture, I'm a person. I promise you that I'm a person. I should just rename my channel Julie Can't Complete Captchas. <laughs> that's what it is. That's all that it is. And here's Zoe, and Zoe is a snow zaffy. Zafara, Zafara. Very cool. Thank you very much for sharing that. That loop is the coolest. And so is the Savara. I didn't mean to. Sorry, Zoe. No shade. No shade. No shade intended. Okay. Oh, I should probably not leave it open on that. No privacy secrets getting leaked. Not here. Not today. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Jay Bay says, I just direct messaged you on Discord. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I, uh, I'll check after the stream. So we've got some for Villa open from our friend Sushi Bit. And then I'm also going to get queued up the Flight Rising. But I don't like the way that they do it. The, the Google tabs, the way that they generate. It could be a little bit more ideal. You know? Okay. Oh, wow! <laughs> what is this? Okay, so here is the Fur Villa page, and oh my gosh, this is <laughs> this is really cute. I like this. This is really good. Okay, so the way that this is set up, uh, the CSS. Oh, can I just close them all? Uh, I've got a lot of notifications. Okay, so here is the guy. So here is the actual familiar. Very. For Villa Villager. Very cool. And the name is Windows Has Shut Down. Gender is Error. And they're located in Ocean Dome. But the way that this is put, put together is really cool. I, I really like the execution on this. 
It's very cute. Nice use of programming, or I mean like of web design elements, the CSS. Oh look, here are the comments. People saying I absolutely love this painting and CSS, the CSS and painting, I love it. I agree. It's really cool. Oh, I like that. I'm a fan. I like that it's kind of like a blue screen of death creature. That's neat. I'm a fan. Thank you very much for sharing. I'm going to see if I could... How do I... I am going to check out your owner page. <laughs> Blah, blah, blah. Turn off your ad blocker. No, you can't make me. Uh, I just want to kind of kind of poke around, see see what else you have. Oh, wow, you have a lot of villagers. Oh, Macaroni, that's such a cute name. Okay, all right. And now this has shut down. We're going to check out Apollo, because that's also a great name. It's one of my favorite, one of my favorite names. Look at that cutie. Oh, your creatures, you're very creative. I'm very jealous. Creative, cute, thank you for sharing. You're the bomb.com. It's appreciated. Everyone, show a lot of love to this kind of creativity. Um, okay, so now we're gonna hop back over to Flight Rising. Our friend Sushi Bit, we're all in for a great time. We got a beautiful, beautiful something lined up here. And yeah, look at that Faye. Oh, Faye goals. Faye goals. Okay. Faye female, five months old, ivory cherub, nightshade shimmer, plum glimmer. And we have some adorable skin. Look at that. That is so. Oh, okay. So we're going to look at this real quick. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Okay. So this isn't just a great skin. This is a great combination of skin and apparel because I totally thought that this was part of the skin, but it, oh, wow. Huh. And of course, the familiar matches perfectly. <laughs> so Astrid, Astrid is a young, playful fae who was taken into the clan by Aspen. He had been quietly stalking her through the trees as she wandered about aimlessly, and as it didn't seem like she was going to leave anytime soon, and like she was hopelessly lost, he approached her and brought her back to the clan. She was welcome to stay as long as she caused no trouble, which wasn't a condition that the clan upheld. Astrid was constantly moving about, chasing butterflies or other small creatures around the clan's nesting area. Fed up of all the noise and flashes of brightly colored wings, Sariel requested for Cyan to convince her, her battle partner to train Astrid up to make better use of her seemingly endless supply of energy. Myasis reluctantly agreed and is still hardly able to keep his patience with his newfound apprentice. An odd habit Astrid picked up was lining her sap nest with soft feathers as she finds around the territory. Most of the clan prefers fabrics or nothing at all. But Astrid thinks feathers are much prettier and can be replaced or added to one feather at a time. Astrid is good friends with Arcadia, Mystique, and Sable due to them being quite energetic themselves. She is aware of her mentor's indifference toward her and strives to show him that she is a capable battle mage just by her playful nature. Although it's unlikely, she'd also like to teach her mentor to lighten up every once in a while and have some fun. And then we have the base image. Very cute. Very, just the best. Engineer, wow, sushi bit. Killing the bio game every time. Beautiful. It's great. It's a great character design. Great apparel. Great illustrations. It's, we've got some goals over here. We've got some real goals. Ooh. We're just going to do a little bit of peeping. A little bit of peeping around the account. And this is Giangelo. Have we showed off Giangelo before? I feel like I most certainly have because it's exactly the kind of dragon. <laughs> so cute. Very cute. Very, very good. I'm pretty sure that I have, right? Right? I must have. Very cool. I'm a huge fan. <sighs> Everything that you bring to the game, totally appreciated. Beautiful. Alright, let's, let's click through. Sar, 
so Sarina. Ooh, an unnamed mirror. Oh my gosh. Okay, just gonna remind you guys once again that a uh, butterfly stick exists. I love that. Okay, all right. And then we're gonna go ahead and move on. I love butterfly stick. So funny. I need a butterfly stick in my lair. I need something like that. Oh, I'm just thinking in my head of all the really amazing <laughs> fly rising things that I've seen. <laughs> that's what that, that's what that noise was for. All right, cool, cool, cool. So this is Flame, Flame Bloom. And Flame Bloom is two weeks old, Metals Crystal. <laughs> It just occurred to me that you could have a metals metal, right? <laughs> All right, so metals, crystal, tan butterfly, teal underbelly. First of all, those colors work really well together because of metals crystal, the different tones used in it. It's just a good idea. But tan butterfly is really pretty. I love the purple tones in that. I like the fedora. Good use of fedora. Any use of fedora is the right use of fedora. But I like the white clothes, especially because I feel like if you did too much color with the clothes, um, that it would look really busy really fast because of everything that's going on with the crystal and the butterfly and the underbelly. But it works really well. And the familiar matches, which is a big deal. Everyone always thinks that the familiar is a big deal, and I agree. The familiar is a big, big deal. Uh, let's see what else you've got going on here. You also have an invis invisible buddy of Fursico. And, ooh, Marjald. Is this a skin? Is that a, we're about to find out if that's a skin or not. Uh, yes, it is a skin. It's gonna be like a bamboo. Let's see. Yeah, twisted bamboo. Okay. From the Mistral Jamboree. That's really cool. And the familiar matches. That's important. Um, and then Fursico. Oh, so it's like a floating mask. So black basic, obsidian basic, ivory basic, and then there are the goals for what the dragon should look like once it's completed. But right now it's a floating mask with a fedora, an armband, and a red warrior mask. Very spooky. I like creative use of invisible dragon. Maybe I should have some some kind of invisible dragon thing going on in my lair. What if I just bought like a whole bunch of those and made my entire lair invisible dragons? That would be a lot. Uh, so from <laughs> 2016, and it's a mighty lair of the glade veins. So it's a nature nature lair. Ooh. Ephraim. Ephraim is Jade Basic, Black, Black Basic, Coral, Coal Basic. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. I never noticed this, but on mirrors, the eye apparel gets doubled. <laughs> what? That's that's pretty extra. I never noticed that. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do some investigating. All right, cool. So here is Ringo. Uh, Ringo is... Uh, sorry. I just turned something off and on. It shouldn't have affected the stream. The power button for my surge protector that powers my monitor is uh, at foot level. Um, but yeah, <laughs> Anyways, CN Gaming says it's because mirrors have four eyes. Yes, that is the reason why the eyewear is doubled. I just, like, didn't know that it did that. That's really funny. I like that. So here's Ringo. Ringo is aqua cherub, white shimmer, steel underbelly. And the skin is it's a skin scent, right? Yeah, it works so well. First of all, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Hold on, let's let's see if we could slap it on one of my guys real quick. Oh, uh, that's dragon goals right there, my friends. Oh my god, I had a dream last night where I dyed my hair like the color of this familiar and I loved it. Um, 
But this art down here is so cute. Oh, that's adorable. I really, I love this. This is so cute. I support everything that's going on. First of all, the, the outfit design is really clever. It looks great. It looks like a plague doctor. He's got the uh, bird skull headdress and the cowl. And it's just a very cool, cool looking dragon. I'm a fan. Uh, let's look. Let's look through the rest of Time Lord Snowy's dragons. That that's definitely cool. Ooh, we've got a pretty, pretty baby here with Wise, and then we're gonna peep on the next next page. So this is Wise, Teal Speckle, Rose Shimmer, Carmine o Okapi, and the Carmine Okapi is really bold. Oh my gosh, is this like the, the snow apparel? This is like the skiing apparel. It's so cute. It really, really hides the teal speckle, which is bananas because the teal speckle and the carmine okapi are probably like very aggressive without some kind of something over them. And it's actually really amazing that these arctic coats and boots or whatever just really bring out like this really strong pastel color in the rose shimmer. It's really good looking. It's beautiful. All right. Very pretty. I'm a huge fan. Karen Kine lives near top of a mountain with mate Joker. Dancer dances at clan gatherings. Oh, very cool. I really do like the Carmine Okapi. I think that it's cool. I'm a fan. Ooh, and then we've got some nice... Nice codals with some bright colors. And then we have some brown pink tones, brown yellow tones. I'm here for it. So the real dragons end on page three. But they're all very cool. I like Raz. Well, of course I do. It's a platinum wild claw with circuit and shimmer. What's not to like? Um, yeah, no, thank you. Thank you very much, Time Lord Snowy, for sharing these with us. Very cool. Ooh, cotton candy. That one looked pretty. Oh, I'm a sucker. I'm a sucker for nice dragons. What can I say? Oh, cool. So you've been around since 2015. Nice lair. A nice mighty lair of the Wisp Willow Grove. The next person we're going to jump to is Pepperminty. I know I'm supposed to load up these pages before I pull them over, but... I'm not a perfect person. Do you guys ever just like want to make a bunch of AMVs to uh, Lincoln Park? Okay, so here is Pepperminty's Pearl. White crystal, white faucet, white runes. Ooh, very cool. Oh, wow. Okay, so Mother of the Frightening Family. There's a lot of lore. Let's see, let's see, let's see. A summary for those who wish not to read the lore, but wish to understand the dragon in her attire. She dresses in such warm clothing because she lives within an icy cold forest, her only protection being fire and her companions. She has a winter wolf familiar because that same beast attacked her in the forest, leaving her cursed with children who no one would look at due to their ghostly appearance. She cannot leave the forest due to her lack of flying abilities, as she was not taught as a young child due to uncaring parents. She only births children with a single partner because they are isolated and wish to create a very large family that they both care for and love for and to leave behind a worthy legacy. Beautiful. So this is a very white dragon. Crystal facet. Oh, I love runes. Always love runes. But especially like white crystal and white facet. Just look at those wings. I love the depth that it builds. Also, I like the use of familiar. It's a matchy familiar. It's an ice dragon. And then we've got the Arctic Tail Cozy and the Arctic Gloves because she is in a very cold environment. Beautiful ice dragon. Beautiful perfection. So, Pearl. Oh, you have a small lair. I love it. Ooh, I see what... 
Very, very cool. So the Pokemon Fan 5 and Kenny Sisson just joined. Hello, welcome. We're going through a layer of showcases right now, just wrapping up a little bit. I say wrapping up, but we're going to be here for like another 10 minutes probably. So Pearl, Crystal Wing, and then these are all their offspring. Very cool. It's a great way to build up a lair. And I like the lore a lot. So it's a pearl catcher and a bog snake. And you have a healthy, diverse amount of offspring that are bog snakes and pearl catchers. Very cool, Pepperminty. I'm a fan of what you're doing here. I think it's really cool to have, like, in the first place, a small lair. But in the second place, one that's just from close relatives. Like, that's kind of what I'm trying to do as well. Oh, very cool. And so they're all going to be crystal shimmer, but some of them are going to have runes, right? So this is Gasp, and they're ghostly creatures. Scream, water, water again with smoke for freeze. Screech with also smoke. Do none of them have runes? I guess not. All right. Thank you very much for sharing. I uh, appreciate it very much. So moving on now to Licken from Jillian's Lair. Give me one second. I'm checking something off. All right. So this is Licken. And Licken is a green witch, overgrown, ancient one, careful, mysterious, nurturing. I love this because um, guardians are massive. They're such huge dragons. And this one has, sorry. Oh, I know what I did. I did this out of order, sorry. This is from Disbounded's lair, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, I skipped because when you pull up the tab it does it puts them in like a different order so sorry sorry Jillian this is Disbounded Dragon and so Disbounded is a guardian um, male guardian guardians are huge there are by far the biggest aren't they it's like guardians and Imperials are very large um, and so Lickin is a warlock working his magic through nature. The center of his power is a circle of standing stones, ancient and covered in runes only he can read. The lichen and lichen and moss on the stones grows thicker the more he draws upon their power. He casts his magic there in great secrecy, knowing that if his enemies were to find it and destroy even one of the stones, he would feel the harm to them as though it were to himself. That's very cool lore that he... He's drawing the strength from around him. Oh, wow. That is amazing art. John Marr says, oh, no, I'm late. You made it just in time. I'm still here. We're all still here. It's good. And then here is some mood board illustration of the moss and runes and appearance. Very cool. Oh, that's, I'm, I'm a big fan. I think it's cool. <laughs> All right, we're going to just check out more of Disbounded's lair. And, uh, you know, just do some peeping. This is a water lair. Ooh, I've shown this one off before. Right? I must have. Lydia looks familiar. Oh, Miles is very cool. All right, Pepperminty is heading out for the day. Thank you so much for stopping by and helping moderate. Much appreciated. Uh, I'll talk to you later on the Discord. So, ooh, okay. All right, the one I want to show off is Miles. So let's go back to page one and just take a peep at Miles. Y'all know that I am weak for caudal males. I think they are just beautiful as hecky. So if it'll register as a click. Here we go. Here is Miles. Midnight Iridescent, Midnight Shimmer, White Underbelly. I am ride or die for Midnight. Midnight is the coolest. Um, and then we have some nice green tones for the apparel, which just works very well. Forest Rogue, Forest Rogue, Leather Aviator, and the familiar matches. 
Miles is a squire and an errand boy. Um, oh, are we going to have another one down here? Oh, look at that. That's great art. I love it. Beautiful. Very cool. This one's cool. I'm a very big fan. So this is a light dragon. Very, oh, that's, I really like the way that you do your, um, your dragon bios and their, like, mood boards and their lore. Very cool. Been around since 2014. That's quite a while. All right, all right, all right. So now, excuse me, Jillian, sorry for the mix up earlier. Now we should be hopping on over to your lair with, I'll just load here in a second. There we go. Bean. Oh, nice. I like what you did here. So basic dragons are so underrated. I'm, I feel like I say this like every gosh darn week. But I'm a huge fan of like a nicely done basic. So banana basic, mulberry basic, storm basic. And so like the yellow and the purple, that's some nice contrast. And then you have it matching in the familiar as well. Very cool. This is a plague dragon. So there's also like a little bit of contrast there. I love her name, Bean, cute. And this is a Gen 1 dragon. Level 8, a month old. Nice. I recognize that. You leveling her up in the Kali. This is a, is this a skin? This is a skin scent. Oh, geez, those yellows. Oh, that's really nice. It works so well with the purple. The perps. Perps, perps, perps. Uh, Jillian says, thanks, she was my first dragon. Well, she's beautiful. She's perfect. Ooh, and then we have a lot of yellow tones in here. We have Ren, who's also first generation. So I assume these two were your progens. And then we have some really neat things going on here with Chocolith, who's actually up for sale. But then Gladys, who I want to look at. I want to peep on this. I also liked Icewing too, though, but... Uh, there's only so much time in the day. Sunshine Iridescent, Rose Shimmer, Moon Scales. Scales is very cool. I don't have any scale dragons, I don't think. Um, but I really, I think this is neat. Very cool. First of all, Sunshine Iridescent just spans so much of the color wheel with like orange through green. Well, it's more like peach through green. And then the rose is just like such like a dainty color, like a dainty pink tone. And the moon is nice because it's a nice neutral. Gladys, beautiful dragon, 10 out of 10. All right, all right, all right. Thank you very much for sharing. And then we have Rosetto and Rosetta. That's cute. All right. Oh, I do like Icewing though. I'm, I am going to peep on Icewing for a second. Metals basic, ice basic, shell basic. So I really want a metals metal now. Um, but those colors are really cool. If you did metals crystal, is the ice color in there? Would that do that? Just a question in general. Um, thank you very much, Jillian, for sharing your critters with us. All right, so we're going to do speed round for the last few in here. I'm sorry. I just keep going over. So we've got awesome teapot. I have to remind myself when I'm going through these that they're in the reverse order of the list. Okay. So what we've got here is high news falsetto which is wonderful earth tones. We've got Tarnished Cherub, Tarnished Spinner, Pink Basic. So we don't get to see the pink. What, what is this skin? What is it? Oh, this is a skin scent, right? I think so. We'll see when it loves. So yeah, this is a skin scent that puts mycelium across the dragon. And we also have some really nice earthen things with an overcoat, some lovely gold tones with the fillet, and the round horn, and the winds, uh, the, uh, the silks, titiant, 
Tyant says, hello, Julie. Love your vids. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And then, of course, this creature has a high new as a familiar. So this is Falsetto the Dragon, level 25, four months old. That is such a short period of time <laughs> to get a level 25. Good work. So Falsetto is a bard, harmonic or harpist, agender, they, them, and their mate is coin. Let's pop over to coin real quick. See what's going on with coin. Ooh, wow. So this is kind of like a koi dragon. Cantaloupe, piebald, charcoal paint, black smoke. Black smoke. There's a lot going on with the silks. They're very, I mean, like, I love the silks. They're really great. This is an ice dragon. So the way that the smoke kind of does, like, an eyeliner effect around the eyes, it really makes them pop, and it matches with the silks so much. And, of course, the familiar is a matchy match. Performer, decadent dancer, queer, he, him, and the mate is falsetto. Very, very cool. They, they work perfectly together. This one's a bard and one's a dancer. Thank you very much, Hainu, for sharing with us. We're going to jump straight over to, this should be, Skylark Songs. Victor, pure... Pearl Iridescent, Pearl Spinner, Pearl Glimmer. Beautiful. I love it. Oh. The Sylvan... The Sylvan apparel is absolutely beautiful. Hainu says, thank you for reviewing my dragons. Thank you for sharing, Hainu. I really appreciate it. So, I love Pearl. I, I've said this a bajillion times, but Pearl's beautiful. Um, I just love the colors. And then on the duo tones, where it gives... The purple and the light blue is something to write home about. So Yuri on Ice, Fan Dragon, Fairy Prince Victor, and also your son. I have not watched Yuri on Ice. I watched like the first three episodes of My Hero Academia um, a couple weeks ago. So who knows? Um, but beautiful dragon. You have a lot that are just very nice pastel tones. So here's Mila. Mila is pearl iridescent, rose spinner, and pearl lace. Oh. So I like the overlap of the pearl lace and the rose spinner. I think that's real, that's a real special something. And you can see the pearl lace just so lightly over the body. Really beautiful. Um, nice, 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 nice. I'm going to check out the clan profile real quick for Wisp Willow Grove, mighty, mighty lair of the Wisp Willow Grove. So that means this is a shadow, shadow lair. Nice purple tones, nice blue tones, nice pastels. Very pretty. I love sky dancers and spirals. Okay. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, all right, sorry, I'm gonna get around to everyone. So I think the next one should be Teapot, awesome Teapots, Caduceus, Cadu Cad Caduceus, and this is also a level 25. So this is my Meyer Flyer, can I have help? I want Apparel to go on him. At least that's what, to give him. So I would say if he's a fighter, then any of the armor would look really cool. He's obsidian white white, so if you want to go like a bright color, that would work well. But also, I think gold looks really good on Kotal males. So like a skin or an accent, and then you could almost do like the gold armor might look really cool. I don't know. Uh, and then, I don't know, anything with green as well. Skylark says, thanks for taking a look at my dragons. Thank you for sharing them. I really appreciate it. You had some cool things going on, and I really appreciate that. So um, I would say either go with the green from the tongue or introduce some gold to bring out the yellow from the wings. Um, I, I really like gold on my codal males. I love codal males. 
Oh wow. Ooh. I'm such a sucker for the first day clothing set. Uh, I think we all are though, right? So gloomy iridescent, pumpkin butterfly, cantaloupe runes. Oh girl. That's genius. I love it. So this is an imperial male, five months old, pumpkin butterfly. Wow. So what I'm like wowing over right now is the fact that the wings are just like such like a lovely pumpkin color, but then they like fade out to like almost a radioactive color like that. Or I guess it's a melon green. So beautiful. Very cool. And this is Sinead. 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 But let's, let's peep real quick at Tincture, which is a flint poison, dust faucet, indigo glimmer. So cool. Oh my gosh. So I'm like a sucker for like grays, but indigo glimmer is really, really beautiful. And that green in the eyes just really matches up with the dust faucet. Oh. And so awesome teapot says when I got the apparel, I gave it straight to him. Yeah, Sinead is perfectly for that. And if that's not the right way to pronounce it, whatever. Um, is perfect for that apparel because his tones just matched so closely. Okay, thank you very much for sharing. I'm just gonna, oh, you have a dragon named Pavel. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love, I love this skin set. Okay, we're gonna check out Pavel for a second. I love that name. Also, those colors. We've got the pearl going on here, don't we? <laughs> Cotton candy stink, cream butterfly, pearl glimmer. Girl, you're coming at me. Okay, all right, okay, all right. Thank you very much, Awesome Teapot, for sharing with us. I really appreciate it. They're beautiful. So, moving on to Lady Moonlight Elf. Uh, what was the note that you were going to include? Um, this is Persillion. And Persillion's wearing so much jewelry. Oh my gosh, but also all of the vines. Persillion is a pearl catcher male, a first generation, cream cherub, Spruce Toxin, Gray Glimmer, and the Spruce Toxin just works so well. Oh my gosh. And I'm not surprised, Awesome Teapot, that the last time in my lair I, I looked at Pavel because Pavel's a beautiful dragon with a great name. <laughs> um, so anyways, so back to um, Lady Moonlight Elf. This is very cool. I am a big fan of the spruce toxin and the way that it works with the cream cherub, but also the way that the apparel works just so well. Like, this is it, the thorn banner. Let's, let's do this. Oh, that is so cool. It just, it looks really great. <laughs> so your comment was, he ate my storage of gems that were for light apparel. <laughs> yeah, he's got a lot of really great things going on him, though. Oh, beautiful. Okay, all right. Let's look at the others. Oh, Paisley Ann. That's a cute name. That's a cute one. So Paisley Ann is cream cherub, pistachio toxin, silver glimmer. Have I... She's so perfect. That is so perfect. This dragon is beautiful. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's like, she's like a character design. She's so beautiful. That is really, really next level. I love, I really like the line art on these, um, on these, lace pieces. They're really beautiful. And on, oh, just all of it. It's really cute. So, so you say Paisley Ann was the reason why I got Persillion. In fact, well, they work very well together. Beautiful. Ooh, and then I'm just gonna look at Saf Safrio, Platinum Basic, Ice Basic, Fire, Thylacine. Is this a Progen? Very cool. 
I'm a big fan. Awesome Teapot said she's amazing. It's almost like Paisley Ann was made for that apparel, and it's true. It just works so well. That's a beautiful dragon. You, like, really did it. So that's an ancient layer of the Cloud Song. So a wind layer. A very large wind layer, bigger than my layer. Girl, oh, jeez. Is that an orca? That's an orca basic. Ooh, oh, pistachio. You've got some goals. <laughs> okay, all right, okay. I'm gonna peace out. Um... <laughs> I'm just like watching myself on the instant replay and I'm like, who am I? Um... <laughs> Your dragons are really cool. Uh, thank you very much, Lady Moon Knight Elf, for sharing with us. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, thank you guys, everybody, for staying through this long. I'm gonna have to come up with some kind of method to keep it, to keep the the list of accounts I go through short, um, so we don't go half an hour over. But thank you guys, everybody, for being here. If you want to chat between time, hit up the Discord server. Um, otherwise, I will see you guys all next week. Um, I hope that y'all.